Welcome to another video. We have tonight uh, a wine I have not tried, um, but from a winery that does big production. This is the Luigi Bosca 2016 Riesling from Las Compuertas in Luján de Puyo. Um, I know nothing about this wine other than it's Riesling, 6,500 bottle production, um, aging potential six years, which it's 2020, so we're at four years. Uh, Close with Stelvin. And let's see what we have. I'm assuming this is a dry style, but God only knows. Let's see what they say um, on the bottle. Nothing about residual sugar um, and nothing. Yeah. 13% ABV, so that suggests uh, it's dry, but who knows? Let's see what it smells like. Nice, sort of um, darkish. A little more than straw, almost a golden color. Uh, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, so I mean, this is <laughs> this is Riesling for days. Um, it's got that real, what people call the petrol, um, that sort of oily uh, smell, uh, aromatically. It smells dense, right? It smells um, um, not like a sort of lilting, airy wine. It smells like it's gonna be viscous on the palate um, with a little bit of residual sugar, but you know, the, the idea here is just um, density. So let's see how it tastes. I mean, blind you could easily peg this um, as Alsace. Um, it, th I mean, that petrol thing is like just <laughs> to, turned up to 11. Um, but it's got some tart green apple, um, some floral notes. Um, really, I mean, for it's fall in DC, um, for a sort of fall wine, I mean, with fondue, hey, I'm there. Um, I really like this wine. It's surprising to me. I know it's a huge producer. Luigi Bosca produces an ungodly amount of wine, um, much of which is not uh, to my taste, but this um, is real, legit Riesling. Um, 6,500 bottle production is really small, so I assume that this is a sort of quirky project for them. Um, but if you like Riesling, if you like that Alsatian um, style, but, but I mean, man, that aromatically, that, that petrol thing is just turned all the way up. Just lubricated my lawnmower kind of thing. Um, wow. Well, the palate, I mean, really nice balance, good acidity. From the, the green apple thing is also very powerful on the palate. Um, but if you like, Alsatian Rieslings, you're gonna really like this. Um, I'm not getting a great sense of sort of, uh, of of terroir here necessarily of, you know, whether this is grown on schist or clay or what have you, but I mean, this is, this is maybe almost certainly the best varietal Riesling I've tasted um, from Latin America. I'm 92 points on the Luigi Bosca Riesling from Las Campuertas in Luján de Cujo. Um, I don't know why they're <laughs> growing Riesling there. Um, so they're saying calcareous loamy soil with large stones. Okay. Um, I mean, they're saying six years. I'd be interested to see if this would go 10. Um, maybe not. I mean, it's already off of its sort of primary fruity notes. But wow, yeah, I'm 92 points on this. Um, I think it's really good. I think it's worth, I'd say seeking out, but yeah, <laughs> it's probably gonna be hard to find. Um, Price-wise, it was 20-ish, high teens, low 20s, something like that. Um, I'm 92 points, it's great. The Luigi Bosca Riesling from Las Compuertas, 2016. $20-ish, 92 points. Good juice.